The U.S. dollar hasn't been this strong since October of 2002. I can't believe this. So I'm just looking at my own business, coming across here, look at this chart. And here's a dollar versus a euro, 100% parity right now. Every now and again, the euro will drop below the value of the dollar. I'm like, this is freaking nuts, man. Just look right here. We're at 118, 119, just a, a year ago. The euro was down, was that 20% a year's time? It's crazy. Here we were right here. We're at 122. Uh, look at that. And then we fell to 109 right here, 115. Go to max. But this one goes back to 2012. But if we go over here to macro trends, we see the last time the euro traded as low versus a dollar as it does now was right there, October 2002. The dollar is collapsing. Oh my goodness, we're all going to die. I mean, look at this at right here, 2008, 160, 157, 158. God, this is, this is freaking nuts. Everyone loves the U.S. Everyone wants our dollars. It's good to be loved. It's good to be wanted. Look at that, man. That's as of May 30th, right there. July 4th, USA in your face, baby. I'm, I'm still, I'm stunned by this. I was doing a video today. I just happened to come across this. and this is crazy. So let's see the U.S. dollar compared to the British pound. Or go to uh, pound sterling. What is it under? Uh, it's under UK. I think it's, let me find it here. One uh, British pound buys you $1.19 uh, American. But that's off of... Right there from a year ago. Let's go to a year. That's off of right there, 138. So it's down 20% or so. These dogs can't make up their mind. Hold on a second. Let's look at uh, what else we want to look at. I don't care about Argentina. Let's look at Australia because Australia sucks. We all know that. How dare you? Yeah, look. One Australian dollar by 68 cents American. Basically, American kicks ass. Whereas a year ago, 75 cents. Australia's government sucks. The Australian people, I'm sure, are wonderful, but their government sucks, and they vote for those people. Um, so there you go, man. Um, look at that. Uh, look at that. In 2012, the Australian dollar was actually more valuable than the American dollar. Isn't that crazy? But America's going to collapse, everybody. Let's see what else you want to look at. It's Belize, Bermuda, Bitcoin. I don't care about Bitcoin. Um, Brazilian, don't care about the Brazilian real. It was like the loopy or the what they call the loony yeah look at that u.s man if you want to buy some property in canada now's the time to do it Just, oh hey man hey let's change it on me hold on a second let's go to us usa right there there we go yeah so one now i got let me just do it so i had it before <laughs> let me just, hold on just a second let me do it so i had it before canadian dollar there we go Versus, there we go. Look at that. You want to buy some property in Canada, you know, for a dollar Canadian, you can only buy 77 cents American, which is the exact opposite, which means it actually, you can go up to Nova Scotia and buy a house up there for a hell of a lot cheaper. But who wants to live in Canada? Freaking Nazis were on that damn show. They kissed my big fat behind. Look at this right here. I remember that right there, 70 cents. And that's when I said, oh man, because I'm from Maine. I always liked Nova Scotia, Halifax, PEI. But I said, I'd love to be able to buy a house up there. Then Trudeau did his Nazi stuff and said, nope, never going back to Canada. Then kiss my big fat behind. And here we go. Canada was trading at a bigger value relative to the dollar back then in February 2012. It's very interesting. Let me, uh, I want to show you. So here's a U.S. dollar versus Canada. Let's see if I can't make this bigger. There we go. And that's uh, 2000, 1990, it looks like. Uh, so the U.S. dollar was trading at a buck 20, went all the way up to a buck. 60 and this is a lot of time right around here is when the the team started going from canada to america because the canadian dollar wasn't buying as much as it could in the united states and as such these canadian teams were losing bank because exchange rates then you can see right here it just start dropping man the u.s i can't tell what year that is oh I can, oh sweet there we go i can do that cool yeah there we go. oh man nice oh yeah there we go sweet and so right can I make that? Let me make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Well, it doesn't really. No, hold on a sec. That's 2003 right there. Yep, right about 2003. So all these teams moved from uh, uh, Quebec, 
Winnipeg Jets. They moved, I guess that was it, Quebec, Winnipeg Jets. Uh, Minnesota North Stars, but they weren't Canadian. Hartford Whalers, they weren't Canadian. But I guess it's just Quebec Nordiques and the Winnipeg Jets. Seems like there's a third. Maybe not. But anyway, and so then look at this. Just start dropping like a brick, man, until right here. The Canadian dollar is actually more valuable, 2008, 2012, than the U.S. dollar. And so then we have the Thrashers, I think, move right about here to uh, to Winnipeg from um, from Atlanta, right around here at some point. And then you can see it goes up, and uh, you can see right here, man, the U.S. dollar is back in town, baby, the only game in town because USA kicks ass. Anyway, I can obviously, I never thought I'd see the time that the Euro would be, remember, the Euro went on this austerity kick for many, many years, rightly or wrongly. I mean, actually, it's, it's, you can't fault them uh, for being their austerity. Uh, it's very interesting about uh, debt to GDP. In fact, let's take a look here, because everyone's like, all right, so let's see the Euro, um, uh, we're going to go debt to, right here, debt to GDP. So they make it a point for their uh, members to keep a lot, I think it's less than 100% debt to GDP. And, and the reason for that is to keep their euro strong. And everyone say, because of the debt to GDP, the euro strong. Well, guess what? Not as strong as the US anymore. Isn't that interesting? Inflation 8.6, our inflation is 8.6. It just goes to show you, man, the debt to GDP stuff relative to inflation is stupid. I mean, here's Japan debt to GDP and their inflation is 2.5. Uh, it's just like, I mean, Here's Germany. Their debt to GDP is slow, is low, lowest than any other basic big country other than South Korea. And their inflation is a uh, is 7.6. I mean, it, here's South Korea. The debt to GDP is only 42 and their inflation is six. Here's Russia's debt to GDP is 18 and their inflation is 15. Anyway, the point being is no one knows what the hell they're talking about. I know everyone thinks they do. I don't know any more than you. No one knows. But what I'm saying is you can't say debt to GDP or uh just like fed reserve spending is inflationary you just can't you can't say the government debt is inflationary um you know it's energy is inflationary it's all that it comes down to energy but it's interesting so debt to gdp but here's a euro debt to gdp less than 100 percent, and yet their inflation is high um and in their growth uh, their interest rate is zero i just i chuckle i chuckle look at that debt to gdp Debt to GDP in China, inflation low. Debt to GDP Germany, inflation high. Debt to GDP South Korea, inflation not low, but you know certainly not extraordinary high. Uh, you know here's uh, France debt to GDP over 112. Inflation is lower than most. And again, Japan debt to GDP is through the roof, and inflation is there. Interesting stuff. Interesting times we're living in. I just never thought I'd see this, but. Uh, you know, before you start selling your freaking greenbacks or cash is trash, send them to me, baby. All right, we'll see you.